claim the mantle of chieftain now. You when the old ones were fresh in their graves and our numbers were still small, it was she who led us through the frozen wastes. We also remember the ravenous tribe who delighted in sucking the marrow from our broken bones. Everywhere Banukai and Hawarak fled, the ravenous tribe were never far behind. <laughs> Seeking a way to defeat them, Banukai went into the wastes and let the wind whip her cheeks. And when the cold brought it, she crept to fight. She saw it behind the world. Quite a view you've got up here. It's a useful perspective. How fleeting we are when the world is so wide. From up here, you can see how the light paints across the land, ever changing. That's a lesson. All our marks will pass. That outlook sounds a little depressing for a painter. Haven't met many artists, have you? Song's Edge needs new stories. I scrubbed its past off this rock to start anew, but a new start needs new colors, fresh pigments like none have seen. Would you look at that, Nora girl? You've bought me all I need. Do you always travel with your pockets full of paint stuffs? <laughs> Honestly, Sakuli, I go around filling my pockets with most of everything. Stop, stop. I'm beginning to like you. I work alone, but come back around later, and I'll have something for you then. That's... me. Maybe it's a machine rider who looks like you. <laughs> Where is she going? You tell me. To ruins or mountains, through flood or thaw, past, future destiny, but I don't think she's scared of any of it. You helped me, inspired me, and the people of the cut. Let this be inspiration for you, wherever you may run. Let's find this blue gleam a better home. <laughs> 